What's up gamers? Koobs here. Thanks so much for clicking on this video and stopping by this channel on YouTube. I hope that you're having a nice week. I hope that you're having a nice month. I'm hoping that you're having a nice year even, but I understand that sometimes things don't always go our way. So hopefully one of those things is true. And at the very least, hopefully you're having a nice day. Thanks again for coming back to another episode of the hit series here on the internet, Sunday Night Invasions. Now this week we're going to be taking a look at some different invasions. What makes them different, Koobs? They're not all from the same character. Oh my goodness. But how are we going to keep track of who's who? I don't know. I haven't thought about that yet. Maybe I'll put a little thing on the screen that says this is the character and this is their level. So that, so that we don't get lost along the way. But it's gonna be a mix up and a mash up of all these different side dishes. And there it goes, the first elimination. You know, I got excited for this one here. Two big strong warriors with big powerful swords. And I thought we were gonna have ourselves a nice little fight, but they went down in two hits. I don't know what they were, what they were thinking. So, when I was young, when I was growing up, we'd say, hey, Ma, what's for dinner? She'd, she'd say, we're having leftovers tonight, kids. And we'd all scrunch our faces and get upset about it. But, but Eric said that they're having prime rib. But, but Carl said that, that they're having, that they're having uh, chili cheese dogs for dinner. Why can't we have chili cheese dogs for dinner, Mom? You know? You know the feeling? Hopefully you can relate. I don't know. It's just because we're having leftovers, son. That's what we're having tonight. Made made a pot roast yesterday, and we're gonna finish it, you know? I made I made a pot of chili earlier this week, and we're gonna finish it. Had tacos last night. We're gonna have leftover tacos. You can make whatever you want, kiddos. We'd always just, it was never quite good enough for us, you know? Nobody wanted to eat the leftovers. And it's been interesting because as I've gotten older, I've come to appreciate leftovers, especially appreciate good leftovers. You know, maybe you have a little bit of uh, spaghetti and meatballs and you got, uh, got, got the fixings to make yourself a nice meatball sandwich. You know what I mean? Maybe you made Maybe you made some steak and potatoes for dinner last night. Now you can whip up some steak and eggs for breakfast. A little side of skillet potatoes. Maybe you had yourself a, a taco night. Maybe you got some seasoned chicken or some ground beef. Turn it into a little plate of nachos for yourself. One of the things I made about a week ago, we had some uh, some barbecued chicken you know like pulled pork but like pulled chicken and um and i turned leftovers into barbecue chicken nachos it was mighty fine and um and so you know my appreciation for leftovers has changed as i've gotten older and part of that might have been you know spending time living on your own when you're the one getting all the groceries for yourself it's like you don't want to let things go to waste so you try to get creative with your leftovers. You have a newfound appreciation and respect for the food that you purchased with your hard-earned money. And so just have a, have a love for the leftovers. And so this is going to be our leftovers. Sunday night leftovers. Because these are all the random and ragtag invasions that I had left over in my files. That I had left over on my PlayStation after putting together some videos for my YouTube channel. So, like I mentioned, I'll, I'll, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little little um, thing on the screen, a little overlay, a little bit of text for you, let you know which character is which and what level they're at, and maybe even what what level their weapons are at, just so that you can get an idea. Some of these. Some of these characters we have seen before. Actually, I think all of these characters we've seen before. 
and um, and so they've got their own little videos here on the channel that you could go check out if you were if you were feeling up to it if you were feeling a little bit lost but I'm hoping that this will be just a nice fun little video for us and then that way I don't feel like I'm wasting any of my my clips that I've gathered you know what I mean so thanks again for being here I'm gonna take a little sip of coffee you know I'm easy I'm, I'm easy like a Sunday morning just give me some coffee and some orange juice and and I'm ready to go the pizza oven I think that's what I've decided to call this little chamber over here this little room off to the side I'm just calling it the pizza oven because anytime that that the party is in there they just seem to get cooked look at him cooked love it couldn't figure out a way to get out of there he said wait a second they, they usually they usually come in here and we kill them and then this time you're telling me that we're gonna we're gonna get eaten alive we're gonna get eaten alive here and then, yeah that's exactly that's exactly what's gonna happen with my volcano pots so when I was having this invasion one of the thoughts that occurred to me was like so this is my level 25 invader and uh, we're level 25 we've got plus three weapons I've said it I've said it so many times on this channel I, I feel like you can go back and look at all the different videos where I've said that level 25 with plus three weapons we get it Coobs just shut up already about it but this was one of the invaders that I was really proud of putting together because of how far I was able to get through the main campaign of El Elden Ring using this low-level character with these hardly upgraded weapons and really just kind of like uh, kind of using like the challenge runner mentality of like what tools are at my disposal to take out some of these bosses that would otherwise be pretty difficult we've got all the way to the mountaintops of giants I don't think that we've tried to take on the um, the the I don't know what his name is the big red giant the ice giant the frost giant the fire giant I who knows what he is he's a big ogre with a big old eye big creepy eye anyways I don't think we've taken him on yet um, and so that means that we haven't gone to like you know Pharaoh Missoula and stuff like that but we have we've gotten pretty far with this low level character and I always kind of think to myself like when I'm doing these invasions especially if I get matched up with people who who you can tell are kind of fresh to the game they're using things that are pretty appropriate for the area that they're at I always think like you know am I well, do they consider this build a twink build and I mean I, I don't care how you you know look at it or label it um, if you call it a twink build that's fine I probably would on uh, you know on the the like scale of twink to twinkiest I would probably say we're just at like the the bare minimum of twink but I understand that we have maybe some talismans that they don't have access to most people don't have access to volcano pots this early on and um, things like ammo for the hand ballista and things like that so the, the point I'm trying to get to here is when I come into an invasion like this and I see that the main character is uh, doing a blight the half wolf cosplay I know that they didn't go and earn that royal greatsword you know and I know they didn't go and kill blight on their blight sorry blight Blythe, the half wolf. I think I said blight there. Um, I know they didn't go kill him for his armor. You know, somebody somebody dropped him those things so that he could do his little his little fancy fancy role play. I'm also trying to do this silly uh, charged R2 when I'm running. That's what that was like my goal of this invasion was to try to get a get a running R2 going, and um, just because I thought it was fun and I was just you know I was just having fun. That's the whole point of the video game, is to have fun. If you forget that, let me remind you. But, so, you know, I get in and, and, he's, and I see he's in this Blythe, the, the, the half-wolf cosplay, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, who's, who's the twink here? Is it me? Is it him? Is it both of us? And so we die there. And then I wanted to show you guys this one, too. Oh, no, this is a... That's not the one. That's me just parrying some guy. 
the next one. The next one's gonna be another. I think I'm gonna die in the next one too. Um, Cause I had something I wanted to say about it. Oh, no, I remember now. I remember now, this one's just here cause it has to be here. Cause we gotta, we gotta look at these sort of clips. Look at this one, all right? I'm gonna, I already spoiled it by saying that I'm gonna die. But you will never believe how I die. Look at this, I get out of there. I'm just chilling, you know? I'm just relaxing, shooting me some some projectiles with my jar cannon here. And then out of nowhere, look at that. What was it, gamers? What was it? It was lag. It was the latency. It was the game. Look at that. Just, just obliterated. I think what happened was uh, on my screen, he didn't use his little big move and on his screen he used his little big move when he does the little the little pull you in and then slam and so i think it was just a little bit of a connection issue but those ones always get me they're always kind of funny because it's like i you die 10 seconds after you got hit and it's just like what the heck what the heck got me so anyway so so we lose some invasions sometimes and uh, and i i don't i don't usually um like I don't try to put a bunch of losses in my videos, but I don't usually mind putting a loss or two here or there, especially if it's a good fight or if something you know interesting or eventful happened. We cooked that guy in the little room in the pizza oven before the the invasion even started, and then he came back to life. So it's like you know we we've, we've already we've won in that sense. We got we got the the half wolf guy down pretty low. We were having some fun trying to do a charge attack. I'm not gonna get upset about about you know getting killed by that guy's uh, kamehameha. It's just all part of the part of the game. So you know, just a good, good and uh, friendly reminder not to take things too seriously when you're gaming. Have some fun with it, and um, and enjoy, enjoy yourself. Look at this guy. We're gonna fight between this little uh, this little railing. Or no, we're not because they're blue person and blue people are dumb. Dumb blue people. Look at that. Trying to do a big old flip. Flipping down all the way down to Liernia from here. That's a long fall, gamers. That sure is a long fall. So daylight savings time just happened uh, last weekend. And um, and I'm over it. <laughs> I am. I'm over it. I'm. I'm ready for it to be abolished. It needs to be gone. It needs to. We need to have a vote, and and everybody's gonna vote to say get rid of it, and then we just get rid of it. I don't know if daylight savings time happens all over the world, or if it's just here in the West. If it's just something that we do here in the United States, but I am. I'm over it. We should just get rid of it already. I don't think anybody likes it. Just messes up our days, messes up our time. The sun is going down at 6 p.m. now. It is pitch black dark at 6 in the evening, which is just like, you can't do anything with that. Who wants to Who wants to go outside when it's dark out, you know? It's just, it's just silly. Just get, a, get it out of here. Give me something new to complain about, you know? I think that um, one of the things that I've, I've read is that it, it's definitely connected to uh, seasonal depression, which is like, yeah, no brainer. I mean, it's it's getting dark out way earlier than it should, and um, and a lot of times people are working until you know 5 p.m. By the time you get home, it might be 5:30. If you work far away, it might even be six o'clock by the time that you get home, and then you get home and it's already dark out, and um, and I'm not saying that you can't do anything when it's dark outside, but you're far less likely to do so. You're probably more likely to just, you know, curl up with a book or play some video games, make some hot cocoa or something like that, you know? Snuggle with your woman, whatever it might be. It's, you're, not, you're not going out to, you know, go to the park or, uh, or go play golf, you know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, get it out of here. If I was in charge, that's the first thing I think I would do. End qualified immunity and uh, get, rid <laughs> get rid of daylight savings time. Sorry, a little political there for a second. Um, but yeah, just get it out of here. I don't think that it's uh, it's needed in our in our modern age. 
that we ha that we're in currently. I think it used to do with like farming. I think is what it was. Well, probably initially was like somebody was like, oh, well, if you study the rotations around the Earth, it's actually not 365 days. There's a little bit of extra, extra change. And so if we were to continuously count 365 days around the, the sun as a full year, then eventually we would have enough time that would make a whole day. And, it, and it, instead of just saying, yeah, man, uh, some years are gonna have an extra day, like they already do with uh, with a leap year. You know, we gotta get we gotta get super technical about it with this extra hour fluctuating. But I think that, and that's probably just dumb, and I'm being dumb. But I think that it was had something to do with farming, and um, and like getting up at a certain time to go tend to the fields and things like that. But it wasn't it wasn't like the sun wasn't up, or I don't know exactly. I'm just I'm just shooting the shooting the bull right now. I don't know exactly why it's still here. I think that most people would probably agree that it could get get gone and uh, and nobody would miss it. You know, if you've got a really good reason as to why we still need it, drop it in the comments below. I would love to have a little little bit of banter about it. So you know, we got some invasions happening. We got some kills happening of hosts. Hosts are dying. They're falling. They're dropping like flies. This one was an interesting one. I, um, I'm, I'm up against these three folks, and this one fella, he's a wizard looking dude, this one right there, using his blood magic. He's using this blood magic at, at me. And, um, and when he casts his spells, it takes a little bit of his HP away. He keeps ticking him for like 50 health points. And so each time that he casts his spell, it says 50 comes off of his, his HP bar. But it, when I'm looking at it and it's saying 50 is coming off of his bar, it I, I can't quite tell what's going on. And it, at, for a while, I was thinking that this guy is maybe like a, got some sort of a, um, hacks going on. Like he's got infinite HP or something like that. Because it seems like his health is going down by 50, but then it's not really his bar is not really moving anywhere. So I'm thinking, oh no, this guy's probably gonna have like 8,000 hit points. And that's why he's spamming all of these blood sorceries at me. And so I was kind of nervous. I was like, well, how am I ever gonna beat somebody who's got, you know, infinite HP? And um, and so that's what that's what I was dealing with here. We'll have to see, we'll have to see how it goes. But, uh, but yeah, so, uh, you know, hopefully you're enjoying some of these invasion clips. These are, these are some good ones some old ones but some good ones and um you know for one reason or another just didn't quite make it into the video where this character was featured with their invasions or maybe they're from uh you know some random days throughout the week where i just kind of hopped on and and played a few invasions whatever it might be some of these were actually from you know last uh last sunday but i didn't quite have as much time as i as i usually do there i even changed it over to see so that I can get an idea of, of uh, what this goober's real name was. Check out their gamer tag, just so that if they were uh, some sort of exploiter, then I could um, properly ban them, you know, from my from my uh, friends list or you know whatever it is, so that so that I don't get paired up with this guy again. And because um, I was that I was that convinced that this guy has got like a million hit points, um, but. Yeah, so some of these some of these characters are like I think all of these characters actually are some just some of my favorite characters. Um, and there he goes. He didn't even have that much health. Did you see that? He was he was actually like sort of squishy. So I, I was I was relatively confused. It's like he took like 600 damage and he died, but he had like a million hit points when it came to using his little spells because he kept just using the the blood sorceries, the blood magic. I'm not sure. Wasn't sure what to make of that one. But yeah, so it's it's interesting. One of the things that I've really come to enjoy and appreciate about Elden Ring, and I've probably even said this before too, is just the amount of build variety that we have at our disposal. And, and especially for like low level invaders, or just invaders that you don't necessarily want to go all the way through the, the main game with. And that's just due to the open nature of everything. 
but like having gone back and played Dark Souls 1 and played Dark Souls 3 relatively recently, like in the last few months, and as well as playing some Bloodborne, it's like all of those you have to, like before you can really kind of get your build up and running, you've got to kind of either navigate through some areas that are a little bit tougher for you, um, or you just kind of use what's what's there at your disposal. But here with Elden Ring, like there's so so much diversity when it comes to what you can do as an invader that it's just it's just really it's super nice. And so one of the things that I did want to say is like if you're somebody who's uh, always kind of wanted to get into invading, I would definitely say that now is a really great time to do so. We've got. Uh, the expansion on the horizon like I can't imagine that it that it's out any later than like March of next year and um, and it's November right now so like say three four months from now we've got uh, a new set of DLC a new expansion coming to us I think even that Elden Ring might have been on sale kind of uh, a little bit recently so maybe people have been picking up the game Maybe people are going to get the game for the holidays, you know. Um, and then I also, I've, I've got a pretty good feeling that when they release the uh, the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC, I think that they're going to put out like a like a definitive edition or a game of the year edition or whatever it might be, where you can pick up the game and the DLC. Oh, that was cold. That was so cold. Wrecked that guy. That was awesome. Um, but yeah, like a version where you can pick up the the full game and the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC in like a package. And I wouldn't be surprised if they were just like, we'll give it to you for 60 bucks, you know? And because they would sell so many, like anybody who hasn't already played Elden Ring and gotten into it, I, I'm sure that that would be such an immense value for, for folks to, to jump into at that point. So I would love to see something like that so we can get some really, some new gamers in, in the, the community. It'd be awesome. And yeah, really looking forward to it. But, but with that being said, it's like this is a really great time to, to start your invasion journey, you know? Because it, there's no time like the present is what they say. And, um, and it's been, you know, a little over a year and a half that I've been invading in Elden Ring myself. And just like looking back at some of my like first videos of invasions and kind of seeing how <laughs> like how my skills as a not only as a player but also like m the mental component of it like figuring out the, the puzzle of invasions has kind of evolved is really cool and and if you can kind of get in now and start to get a feel for the, the invasion component and start to get an understanding of how these um, these different areas that you're invading are set up and the mentality that your opponents have um, versus when they have you know two or three people coming at you or when it's just one of them kind of getting a feel for like solo host invasions which they don't happen very often but they do happen and a lot of times it's just somebody sitting at the, the site of grace looking for a fight and so maybe it's not the most fun but it's also a really good opportunity for you to kind of practice your your skills and kind of get better at the game and then by the time that the that the dlc releases you will have that confidence to go in and say yep i'm an invader i'm gonna go and have some fun with these invasions and i'm gonna check out these new areas and the new weapons and the new armor and all this different stuff it's gonna be a whole new game for us which is super exciting so yeah jump in start start doing some invasions if you haven't already you know i read something the other day it said something like um sometimes we forget that like we're so focused on the future that we we don't realize that we're right in the middle of what we used to hope for and i thought that that was really kind of interesting and and profound it's like yeah like how often have we have we been wanting something or hoping for something and then when we finally get there or we finally achieve that thing we're not even like taking the time or the, the giving it the gratitude to say like i'm here i made it because we're so focused on what's next and what's going to come after and so so sometimes it just helps to kind of take a take a 
take a step back, take a deep breath, and look around you, and and realize that like you're 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 there, you know, you're where you wanted to be three months ago. You're there, and and we're already trying to figure out where we're going to be in the next three months. So, never too late to try something new. Never too late to jump in and and get going with it. So, maybe maybe it's enough to put you over the edge and get you out there and invading so that I can have some more co-invaders. You know, I would love to see more people join in this community and finding a new home for themselves as an Elden Ring invader because it's been an absolute blast for me personally. So I'm sure it would be for some of you as well. I did want to take a quick moment to recognize our unofficial official sponsor here of Sunday Night Invasions, <laughs> Aldi Foods, baby. Have you ever felt like you're tired of of wasting single-use plastic grocery bags? Every time that you go to the grocery store, you come home, you got all these single-use plastic grocery bags. They're bad for the environment. You have to find some place to stash them and store them because you feel bad just throwing them in the trash. Maybe you're lucky enough that you got a dog. You can use it to pick up their 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 waste when you're going for a walk with them. You ever get tired of that? You ever feel like you just need a little bit, a little bit more time during your grocery shopping experience to to feel good about yourself? Maybe you just want to continue your workout after the gym and you, you're going to the grocery store anyways so why not go to Aldi Foods because gamers they don't they don't just give you the bags they make you they make you pay for the bags and why do they do that you're thinking wait a second Coobs you're always talking about the value that you get at Aldi Foods you're always talking about how inexpensive it is to shop there you get yourself a box gamers you, you search the aisles for a nice sturdy box. You put all your groceries into the box and then you go check out and you walk out of the store with a nice big box of groceries. You didn't even need the bags. You never needed them. They were never necessary. But you know what? You got your you got yourself you got yourself a new box to keep in your house somewhere. You got yourself a little bit more muscle on those arms from carrying all those groceries. You got yourself feeling good about the fact that you didn't use all those single-use plastic bags this time around. So go check out all the foods. <laughs> so dumb. So dumb. Oh uh, man. That's, I'll probably, I think I'm going to probably retire that bit. Maybe it'll come back in like a future invasion. I've been doing it in just about every one of these videos trying to find some uh, something good and nice and stupid to say about all the foods. Because truly, I do I do love shopping there. Um, for a while, and I think I mentioned this the first time around when I brought them up, I was just like, I would go to my local grocery store. Here, it's it's Kroger. And so I would go to Kroger, and, um, and I would just feel like I was getting robbed after leaving. It's like, I, I would get like six items, and I'd spend like $40 on those six items. And it's like, I felt like, like prices were just too high. They would have these stickers on on the the products that say low price, but the price is higher than it's ever been before, and it just I was just really just n not having a good time, and um, and so I think a friend of mine was like, dude, just go check out Aldi Foods. Like I, I go there all the time, and I was like, yeah, dude, I don't know why I haven't been. I, we used to go there when I was growing up. We'd go to Aldi Foods all the time, and like the value. The difference in the value between the two is it's like night and day so if you're struggling a little bit if you're looking to save some money so that you can save up for that new video game that's coming out <laughs> go to all the foods gamers this is gonna be our last invasion here this is our again our level 25 invader and um, and you saw at the very beginning they were just kind of standing there we got a got a nice little wake up got a nice little wake up on these gamers and um, and I'm always kind of you know you never know if they're if they're at their controller and they're trying to bait you over by standing still like that, and so you never you, you can never be too sure. So you got to kind of feel it out, take your time. But I was able to get a nice little backstab on on both of these jabronis, and it's been a it's been a fun little invasion. So we're gonna close things out here with this one, and 
I just want to say, as usual, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. Remember that you're worth it. And, um, and whatever you're going through right now, whatever hard times have fallen upon you, just remember that you are strong enough to, to keep going. So just, just keep pushing. All right, gamers? I really believe that. You matter. So thanks for being here. I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and just say my outro here. And we can just kind of peacefully watch as this invasion comes to an end. So thanks again. I have been and always will be Coobs. Peace and love, gamers. Don't forget to eat your leftovers.